back at it today making videos and I thought I'd kickstart off 2022 with a coffee run in one of the greatest cars money can buy at the moment, the Porsche GT3 and not just any GT3, this is the brand new Porsche 992 GT3 with touring package and to add on top of that, it is a manual. I'm so pleased to say it's a manual. It's so rare to be given press cars these days, especially sports cars, supercars, with a manual gearbox. It's a big shame, manuals are a dying breed and a GT3 with a manual gearbox is one of the best driving experiences you can have today. How good does this look? And I just wanna talk about the color to start with because up until now, I was not a fan of this gray metallic and now I've seen it in real and also taken a couple of pictures, I realized first of all, it does work extremely well on camera, it does work also very well against the snow and it's really grown on me. It's very understated, but that is also a Porsche 911. This is a supercar, but you could drive it to the office and if your work colleagues didn't know much about cars, they would just think, oh yeah, it's a, a nice Porsche. Little do they know how much does it cost and what it can actually do. But that is why a lot of people do love Porsche 911s because they are understated. Cool factor is massive and this is just such a ridiculously good looking car. Inside we have the full carbon bucket seats and yes there it is. As I said manual gearbox and plenty of space in the back as it's the Touring no cage the space in the back behind the seats is actually really, really good. Here we go. in the morning perfect time to head out for a drive before going to get some well needed coffee don't know if I'll be able to hit any of those magnificent 9,000 rpms this morning in these weather conditions it's currently minus three so the road is a little bit slippery so Porsche Switzerland have given me this for the weekend and I am definitely gonna make most of it no sleep for me this weekend and like I said no matter what the weather conditions I'm gonna get out and drive crack the window down a little bit let some of that four litre flat six blasting through the window into our face <laughs> How I've missed that so much. I feel like the last couple of months, December and January have just been, well, pff, not the most enjoyable couple of months. Very dark, very depressing at times. No supercars. And now I feel, well, I'm starting to feel normal again now. Fantastic! And as you all know, loving changing gear with my right hand. <laughs> oh, it just feels so, so good. Why do I not start every morning like this? This is the perfect way to wake up in the morning perfect way to start your weekend 500 horsepower as I've always said the sweet spot of power really usable really playful especially with <laughs> with the manual gearbox <laughs> oh, driving up to the top seeing the mountains so I've been trying to think from driving yesterday and this morning if there's any negatives I can tell you and at the moment the only thing I can find 
which is a little disappointing is on top of the gear lever it's now plastic it was always metal before it feels cheap and it actually looks a bit cheap I think it doesn't look bad it's not so ugly but it's not an improvement to what it used to be this nice little bit of aluminium on top of the gear lever I guess obviously there's a reason behind it they've changed it to save money because plastic is cheaper and so on and so on but yeah it's a bit of a shame especially with a manual gearbox it's one of those things where your hand is always in contact with so I think at least for the manual version they could have replaced the plastic with a nice bit of metal but that's nitpicking just trying to find something that I can point out that I'm not a big fan of otherwise I don't know if there's much I can say against this car to be honest the steering is just ridiculous it's so good you've actually really got to be focused all of the time you look away for a second look back and you've moved halfway across the road because the steering is so sensitive it's incredible razor sharp steering I mean you just had to Go and try one and you'll see what I mean directly. It's probably the best steering on a road car I've ever experienced. Just when I always thought the GT3s couldn't get any better, the 992 came out. Let's test out the sound. I've missed the GT3 equally as much. <laughs> it's nothing quite like being alone up on a mountain by yourself in a GT3. It's sometimes I find such a surreal experience. Oh, I could quite happily spend the whole day doing this now, to be honest. Oh, a bit of dry road. 9,000 RPM. <laughs> perfect end to a perfect morning. I'm gonna enjoy my second coffee by the way. It just tastes so good. Had one inside and I had to get a, one for the road as well. Don't mind me. I think I have a problem. Kind of addicted. 